This is Twig for the 24th through the 28th of March. Hey, Aaron. Hey, I'm, my hat's in the way. I'm wearing a hat because my hair's messed up. So oh let's God. get right into it because we oh got Dave, by the way. Yeah, it's Dave, Aaron. Oh, <laughs> that's what we do. Let's get right into it. Uh, You know Notch, the creator of Minecraft? Yes, uh, I do know Notch, the creator of Minecraft. Because you know Octopus got bought up on Facebook. You know, that's a yeah, thing. boo! Uh, so he, uh, he was supposed to do the um Minecraft thing with the Octopus Rift, and he backed out because he says he doesn't believe in Facebook and it's not a game company. He's like a. You go, dude. His history of just building uh, numbers for users, like that's not what they want to do with the games. They want to just build the users. You know, they want to get that advertisement. Right. So like, I thought that was the coolest thing. I'm like, you go, man. Yeah, that you stand up for it, buddy. Uh. He's getting a lot of flack for it too, from uh, like Cliff Bliz- Bliz- Blazinski. He made the Gears of War series. He thinks he, he says his Twitter profile says the Tony Stark of video games. Like he's such an arrogant prick. So like, I'm glad he he told Cliff to be off. Like whatever, man, get out of here. Like, dude, okay, so they're just going to turn that into ads. Mm-hmm. Oh, virtual reality ads. Yeah, that's a big thing on Reddit I could right see now. a Big Mac in my face. Yeah, the big thing on Reddit right now. now. Like, Reddit's all about that virtual reality advertising thing. It's huge. Um, DLC for uh, for Call of Duty Ghost. You know, um, the last one they did had a Michael Myers theme, okay, um, which is... Halloween. Yeah, Halloween <laughs> thing. So, like... Instead of like there's a juggernaut which is a knife where you just like go knife knifing people, they made it um whatever Michael Myers made him the juggernaut, which is cool. And then the next one's gonna be the Predator. That's so, cool. Um, yeah, Call of Duty's doing something right. Yeah, I mean it's just a new map, but instead of having the juggernaut, you have the Predator. Like oh no, <laughs> but like apparently it's gonna be Predator themed, and uh, Pre- that was cool. Man. Comes out on April third. It did, and um, that's what the trailer showed. The trailer showed like hints of that. So that's interesting. Um. <coughs> <coughs> the Xbox One reputation system got unveiled by Microsoft. This is the bad part, not the good part so far. Basically, it's the same as every every other reputation system. You misbehave, you get put with people that misbehave. And, like, you'll get, like, a bar. If it's red, it means you avoid them. If it's orange or yellow, it means, like, they need work. And if it's green, they're good. It's kind of a weak, like, and there's no, like, penalties. Uh, actually, they said the penalty is you don't get a Twitch broadcast if you're bad. And you'll get put with other people that are bad. That's like basically every other reputation system they have out there. I mean, how many people actually use Twitch? Uh, well, they on an article the PS4, uh, like doubled the amount of Twitch users, which is surprising. I was like, wow, but like, I don't think it's, I don't think it's gonna last. Um, and then they had a bunch of new, um, Arkham, Arkham Knight, uh, which is the new next Batman game. Bunch of information like that, which was uh. I don't want to go over it because it's a very lengthy article. They talk about the bat suit, how it's changed, is more armored. Um, the Batmobile is a big How's thing. How's it moving about. that thing? I don't know. It's carbon fibers, dude. It's just like a suit. Oh god. <laughs> Rich people. Yeah, I know. I hate them. Uh, the Batmobile, which they said was like it's just like uh, the Tumbler from um, what do you call it, Nolan movies? Um, so it's like it turned really good and everything. And it talked about that for a long. That was a big article on that. The Batmobile is a big thing. Talked about the plot, which deal it deals with uh, Scarecrow. He's gonna be the main villain. Actually, Arkham Knight is gonna be the main villain, but like Scarecrow is like the the one behind it. Right. Yeah, which is pretty neat. Scarecrow. That's, that's he's such a weird villain. Like he, they they underused him in the first movie with uh, the Nolan movie. I really liked Scarecrow, but then I think they underused him. And what else did they talk about? They talked. Who about was the villain in the first movie? The he's Scarecrow. Really? Yeah. But like it was, he was like not really the villain, if you know what I mean. Yeah, there was somebody else behind it. Kingpin? I don't know. I, I can't remember. remember. Now it's bothering me. Um, and they talk about the villains. How there's a. Because the second one was Ra's al Ghul. No, the first or one was Ra's al Ghul. That's there, right. you there, there you go. Ra's al Ghul. Ra's al Ghul, and then, um, the Joker. And then uh, Talia al Ghul is behind the main one with Bane and Talia al Ghul. Uh, and they said how like it's like triple the size of Arkham City. It's like maps big. just get bigger and bigger Which every awesome day now. It's still, like yeah. sometimes it's annoying. Like, it's like oh, oh. <laughs> on the other side of the map, wow. <laughs> and so, um, so and then the final thing is uh, PS4. Uh, we'll be getting what is this game? The Last of Us. <laughs> I'm looking right at it. And couldn't think of it. Beginning Last of Us PS4 with uh, all the DLC in it. So, and that was just it was a rumor from some Turkish website, but in, um. They like the Turkish like dude that said it like it was a very reliable source. Very true. And he said it was a very reliable source that uh it's coming to the PS4. I heard it from his friend. <laughs> Omar. Um and then finally we got uh game releases. We got um 
On April 1st, April Fool's Day, we got Batman, Arkham Origins, Black Gate. But is it really coming out then? <laughs> I don't know. We'll find out. We have Goat Simulator, which is actually getting a huge following. <laughs> I saw the video for that. <laughs> the trailer is so awesome. <laughs> like Just a, a goat in a jetpack flying. I, well, I know. Weird. <laughs> then we have Mercenary Kings. Those are just messing stuff up. Yeah, dude, it's weird. Uh, MLB 14, the show. That's a Steam game? What? Goat Simulator. Yeah. Is it free? No. How much? I don't know. I, no way I'm paying more than five bucks for that. It's probably ten bucks. Huh. Um, Don Bradman Cricket 14, so I don't play cricket. And then... <laughs> God, why would they sell that in America? It's Don Bradman Cricket, not just cricket. Don Bradman. <laughs> and then the Elder Scrolls Online. Like, that's a meaningless name to me. Or most Americans. Yeah. I'm sure in Europe and all that. I don't. It's like uh, football here. Like everyone, who, they don't love like Tom Brady as or Peyton Manning or all those people. Well, they're starting to. They have yeah, games I in mean, Europe but now. I'm just saying. Or in uh, yeah, I know. It's just it's. Difficult. What you call it? Whatever. <laughs> and uh, that's our speedy version of Twig today. I kind of fly through it. Um, hope you enjoyed it. And as always, thanks for watching. Goodbye.